The following is a production of the Computer Information Systems Department at the Metropolitan State University of Denver. Hello, this is Joseph Hasley. To get started in the class, the first thing you'll want to do is log into Blackboard. You can do that by going to msudenver.blackboard.com. When you enter that, it will redirect you to this website. If you know your username and password, you can enter them and go ahead and log on. If you don't, uh, you can follow the instructions down here to look up your initial Blackboard Learn username and password. Once you're logged into Blackboard, you can select the course that you want to go to. And once that pops up, of course, you can navigate uh, within the site. Uh, there's a home page. Uh, but what you're probably most interested in in this class is content. That's what we're looking at now. If you go to uh, the Start Here folder, uh, there is a introduction to the class PowerPoint. Um, it just has some of the key points that you want to go over uh, for the class. The other thing that you really want to be sure that you visit is the main course website. And if you click on that, It'll take you to the main course website. You can click down here on the red. And be sure that you come here. This has uh, most everything for the course. Uh, so we have, if you go to schedule, a couple main things here. You can get a PDF or MS Word version of the course syllabus. And if you scroll down, you see week by week what's going on. So you can see the readings that are due or that are assigned at least that week, and the PowerPoint slides uh, that are associated with the Cronkey textbook. Those are PDFs. Uh, they're actually PowerPoints that have been saved as a PDF. Uh, so those are the lecture notes for the course. Uh, over here you can see uh, what's turn in. So there's a uh, My T Lab registration instructions. Um, there's technical support and uh, for registration issues, and you can see that uh, things start to become due the third week. Um, week five, we have a test. Uh, it covers chapters one, two, three, and four. So this page will walk you through the whole week or the whole class week by week. Week 10 is exam two, and week 15 is exam three. And of course, there is a comprehensive final. course materials. You can see a picture of the uh, book. This is what you see at the store. This is an actual picture of the book. Here's a picture of the ISBN. Uh, course description. Uh, this has some key points. So general objectives for the course, prerequisites, uh, other things to know, withdrawal policies. And then policies and dates. This is a breakdown of the course, so how much each assignment and exam is worth. You want to note uh, there are four exams. We count your best three. So if you take exam one, two, and three, and you finish the course and you like your uh, score, you don't have to take the comprehensive final. Uh, each of the exams, each of the midterm exams, is only 50 questions. The comprehensive midterm that's offered week 16, that's 100 questions. Um, exam 1 covers chapters 1 through 4, exam 2 covers chapters 5 through 8, exam 3 covers chapters 9 through 12. The comprehensive exam covers chapters 1 through 12. So if you're not getting uh, the gist, let me be very clear. You want to do your best on the first three exams so that hopefully you don't have to take the final. That's it for now. Uh, please be sure that you do read the class introduction PowerPoint that is in Blackboard. Please let me know if you have any questions. You can email me or you can give me a phone call. Uh, I'm just about always in my office during office hours, so you can go ahead and give me a call during office hours or you can try me at other times. Thanks for watching. Have a great semester.